Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in this video, we are going to solve the, some more questions of part B. So we have to calculate the skeletal electron pairs and cluster type. So this is based on which topic? This is based on boranes. Okay, borane cluster. What is boranes? Compounds containing boron and hydrogen. For example, the most common borane that we are familiar with is dimer of BH3 right two molecules of BH3 combines to form borane okay this is called diborane borane is BH3 this is called diborane B2H6 okay it's famous for its banana bonds or three center two pi electron uh, three center two electron bonds okay so these are the two boranes that they have given you can see here also there is boron and hydrogen here also there is boron and hydrogen so how do you do so the first step is what we have to calculate is called as a total electron count okay in the previous video also we have seen how to calculate the total electron count or total valence electrons okay what exactly we calculate is the total valence electrons okay so we know boron has how many electrons boron has ns2 np1 what is the electronic configuration of boron atomic number is so it will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Valence shell is second one. So here there are three electrons. Right? Hydrogen we know it has only one electron, 1s1. So this has one electron, boron has three valence electrons. So we have to calculate the total electrons. Okay, so let me clear this. So this is the table that we have to follow. Okay, this is a structure type that we will find out what is the structure type and this is the total electron count and SEP that is the skeletal electron pairs. Okay, that is what is asked in the question. We have to calculate the skeletal electron pair and structure type that is whether it is closo, nido, arachno or hypo. Okay, for boranes, we are talking about boranes. You can remember this as well. For transition metal clusters also you can remember. The only difference is here it is 4N. Instead of 4, if you add 1, 1, you will get it for the metal clusters. Okay, so this table you can remember. So what we have to do is first we have to calculate the total valence electrons. Okay, so boron, 10 borons into 3 valence electron plus 10 into hydrogen it is 1 plus there are 2 electrons, right? So we add 2 and then total it is 30 plus 10 plus 2. So it is 30 plus 10, 40, 40 plus 2, 42. Now we have to compare it with 4n value. What is n? n is the number of boron atoms or central atom. Okay, number of boron atoms. In metal clusters, it will be the metal number of metals that are present, metal atoms. Okay, here it is boron. So total there are how many boron atoms? 10. Right, so what we will do? We will multiply it by 4. 4 into 10, that will be 40. Plus what number if I do? I will get 42, 2 right so this is what this this follows 4n plus 2 type of system so compare where which is 4n plus 2 4n plus 2 is closo okay so what is a, a cluster type closo okay if i want to calculate skel skeletal electron pair sep that will be n plus 1 n is number of borons 10 so 10 plus 1 that will be 11 okay so closo and 11 so in which uh, which options you can see closo and 11 11 closo, 11 nido, this is incorrect, 10 closo, incorrect, okay, 10 closo, incorrect. So, just by the first option is the correct answer. So, we, we have to calculate for the second uh, borane cluster as well. So, let us do that. Here, again, boron is 3 into 6 plus 9, 9 into 1, okay, plus 1 negative charge. So, we will add 1, total 9, 3 is... 6 3 is 18, 18 plus 9 plus 1, that will be 28, okay, 18 plus 10. Now, again here, n is what? n is 6. So, we will compare, okay, n is 6. So, 4 into 6 is 24. 24 plus what will give me 28? 24 plus 4 will give me 28. So, this is 4n plus 4 type, okay, 4n plus 4 type. So this is which type you can see it from the table it is nido okay so this is going to be nido and skeletal electron pair is what 
n plus 2. So, n is 6. So, 6 plus 2 that will be 8. So, 8 is a skeletal electron pair. Nido and 8. So, you can see first option it is 8 and Nido. So, what is the correct answer? Option 1. Okay. So, in this way you can calculate if metal clusters is given then you have to follow the this table. Okay. For transition metal clusters you will follow this, this table. Okay. So, what is the correct answer? Option 1. So, I hope you have understood how to calculate this skeletal electron pairs. It is very important and every year they are asking this question. Okay. Either they ask borings or for metal clusters. So, I hope you have understood this. Thank you.